Welcome, my beautiful woman, goddess, fairy, mermaid. <laughs> Welcome. Today is the topic: How can you fully step into your feminine power? Connect with the deepest source of your being. Connect with your sexuality. And also, what is limiting? If you get aware of what is limiting, you can break these rules, open it, and go far beyond what you think is possible. I'm Sally, and welcome to Holiday for the Heart. If it's the first time for you here, please feel free to click the subscribe button down there. And then we start directly. It is all about your feminine leadership. Are you always able to live what you truly want? Mostly in the West, we are used to to just do. There is a system that is just telling us how to behave. What is good? What is what people want to be seen? How to hide? Even using the mask, not show, showing any emotions anymore, and it's just you think how you have to behave. But it's not always good. Are you feeling free if you can't really smile or be happy or like express yourself? I can't. Honestly, I really can't. So for me, freedom and like to really step into my power, it's all about allowing me to be fully there in the moment. And this is what I also want to give you this opportunity to fully step and connect with your deeper self, connect with your womb, connect with your pelvis, with your root chakra, with your sexuality, everything what is down there in the darkness to bring light in it. And what is limiting you? It can be the whole system of patriarchy. Maybe it can be also that you took a lot of hormones, like the anti-baby pill, or anything what is similar like this, because this is numbing your emotions. It's stepping you out completely of your normal cycle, and our cycle, if we truly are using it, it has so much power in it, like. So much it's the pure magic and we all have it all the women so we have it and to really allow this natural beauty and power to fully embrace it and live it don't take any anti-baby pill really there are other ways you can do and to talk about the cycle to really embrace it and to also see where the power there is, let's dive a bit deeper in it. So maybe your normal hormones or like your craziness of your emotions, they are taking you wild. Every day is a new journey and sometimes more crazy, sometimes less crazy. But this is how we are. And if you take the anti-baby pill, it's getting more, le like less wavy and less. Until maybe it doesn't happen after a few months, but maybe after a few years. It depends also how sensitive you are. And then it's just more like silence. It's just numbing everything inside of you. And you are maybe not even aware of it, but it comes like you don't want to have sex anymore. You don't want to. Like it's just numbing everything inside of you, externally, it's always connected. So. If you start to not numb, to allow to feel what is arising in you. I give you an example for that. It's like you have a flower and you you just cut the night. So the flower wants to have the light and then there is the light. Always the light. And the flower just comes and rises and like, oh wow, there's no night. So, so she can crawl really, really fast. But then she's also bl blossoming and then she's gone and she dies. And then this is like with the hormones. But if you have the natural cycle, 
the flower grows, and there's the night. She takes a rest. She decides, mm, oh, I have more time, and I can grow in my own rhythm. And then the daytime comes. She gets more water. She grows, and then she really takes time to open her beauty. And when she's ready, she really unfolds her whole beauty of. Senses her smell is way more intense, and she really knows how beautiful she is. Mm. And this can only happen when she comes in her natural, organic way. And for each woman of us, it's another timing. Sometimes more slow, sometimes more fast. We are all uniquely beautiful. And to really embrace the cycle, what we always have. So it's like. You can also see it like the winter and summer time. So you really like in the winter time when you have your period. It's just you go more inward. You take this time to be with you, integrate, and release really. And then the spring comes and you get out and you you have more power also. You really embrace and you feel oh everything is flowing and growing and you go out and. Then the summertime, you're fully alive. You're just running around. You do your things. You can do anything. And the autumn is already a bit more more windy, or like you need to take more care that your energy is not everywhere. And then the winter again, you go more inward. So it's going out and in. And the same with your emotions. It's good to express them when they are there, and then to go inwards, reflect. What was happening? Is it good or what do I want to express? And then you let it out. And the more you do it directly in the moment when it's there, the more freedom you have, and it doesn't get stuck anywhere in your body. And you feel better as well. So the more you are connected with yourself, the more power you can get out of it. You know how to listen to your body, and you just do it. Another thing, what also brings freedom, to allow yourself to love your body, to be naked, to see yourself how worthy you are. It can take some time, but to really embrace yourself in every part, how you are. We are all so beautiful, and really embrace your beauty. Embrace your legs, embrace your belly, your arms, your face, everything. See the beauty in everything of you. And、um, I can link you another video for that one. It's a beautiful exercise to do it every morning. I love it so much. <laughs> so I will just link it to you. <laughs> so let's review a bit. So either you're blocked in the system, you block yourself with anti-baby pills. Maybe you are even not aware. You suppress emotions. You don't allow yourself to feel to connect what is happening inside. When the pleasure comes, maybe you stop it. You don't allow yourself to come. <sighs> There are several more things, I guess. There's always more. And how can you now really connect with yourself? I have a beautiful exercise, and it's super. Magical, and you can do it everywhere. Are you ready? Close your eyes and feel inside. Feel directly into your womb, into your pelvis, into your yoni, and get aware of your whole lower body. If you're used to the chakras. It's the mulada and sacral chakra, the root and the sexual organs. So really connect here. Feel inside. And from listening, start with movements. They can be tiny, but they are coming out of your womb, out of your pelvis. Start to move around. Your body will tell you how to move. If not, you can ask. Hey, 
beautiful body. Womb, how do you want to move? Small or big, quick or slow. Circles, or just forward, backwards, or to the side. It's your freedom. Listen to your body and move. Move from the feeling within. Beautiful. A few more. How does it feel inside? And slowly come back to center. A few more small movements to really center yourself back. You try open your eyes again. You're always able to move. The movements can be tiny so nobody can see it. But you know you have this freedom and the power to sense your feelings inside. Activate yourself to getting awareness. And with awareness, ask your body, can be tiny movements that they can be so sexy and so connected with you that it just makes you happy to feel yourself. So whenever you get lost or in the construction of a system, connect, connect with your true power. And if you want to dive deeper, I have another meditation for the womb to clear old energies and to invite more activation and healing. I will link it to you. Up there, down there, goes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining and I hope you truly find your power. You are so worth it. Activate your feminine energies. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you next time again. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.